Okay, so uh, this is just a quick video to show you how to use this uh, E92 ball joint um, adapter. So this is for the all-wheel drive model that has the uh, the ball joint separate from the control arm, and it's this piece right here that we're trying to take out. So um, you can see it's pretty rusted and seized in there. And um, first thing you got to do is remove the lower control arm. So obviously you can go to AutoZone and grab one of these uh, ball joint separator tools here. Um, just take off the bottom nut under the control arm. Stick the tool in between the um, ball joint and spin this little black nut here to separate the uh, control arm from the ball joint. Okay, so I've loosened the uh, low control arm. You can see it's, pretty, it's loose and separated from the ball joint. Uh, also loosened the back nuts uh, below, uh, in the back of the control arm. So I think these are 22 millimeters uh, so that the control arm can fall out of the way and we can get better access to the ball joint. Um, actually, the nuts back here are 18 millimeter nuts, my mistake. All right, so now we have uh, good access to the ball joint. We're gonna have to take out these uh, T50 uh, nuts. There's one on this side, and there's another one right behind where my finger's pointing. So you gotta take that out before you can use the, uh, the adapter. So there's two ways you can use this adapter. You can use the nuts as support, or uh, the edge around the mounting area here has um, support. Also, um, in order for the adapter to fit well, you're going to need to remove the rotor um, so that you can remove this uh, metal shield and get more clearance. So I'm going to pause the video and take those two pieces off and we'll resume. So um, this, uh, you have to make sure you remove the 6mm hex, um, uh, hex nut here. So just get a 6mm socket and you should be good to go to release the uh, brake rotor. All right, so the rotor is off, and I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter uh, socket to remove these nuts, so you can remove the shield. Uh, there's one, two, three, four uh, of those nuts that you need to remove. So once you do that, we'll have enough space to fit the uh, the, the ball joint adapter. All right, so this is what your uh, wheel wall should look like. Uh, take off the wheels, take off the brake rotor, uh, take off the brake shield, uh, take off the lower control arm. Um, and so now we have the ball joint fully exposed down here. And if we go ahead and grab the ball joint adapter, so this is what it looks like. It's a custom piece that I just made. Um, this fits right over the uh, ball joint like this. So when you're pushing it in there, make sure that the um, ball joint threads are poking um, past the uh, bottom hole opening here, like you see. Also make sure that uh, the edge of this adapter sits all around the ball joint. So it should not be sitting on the ball joint, it should be sitting around the ball joint. And you can also see there's a cutout um, right back here so that the adapter sits all around the ball joint. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the ball joint nut, tighten it down here, continue tightening it, and hopefully it should pull out this ball joint from uh, its mounting location. So I'm just gonna pause the video for a second, put the uh, old ball joint nut uh, on here, and tighten it. So you can see I, I hand tightened the uh, ball joint nut and I'm gonna grab my ratchet and this is a 24 millimeter nut, just tighten it, continue tightening it until what will happen is the, because uh, this is a Massachusetts car with a whole bunch of rust in it. So what should happen is the ball joint should continue sliding. It's about a four millimeter travel, um, four to five millimeter travel. So it should just pull it right out as you're tightening this nut. So we'll see what happens.
All right, so it's broken loose. So we're just gonna keep continue tightening it until the ball joint just pops right out. So uh, as you can see, that was super easy. Um, I'm glad that it came out as easily as it did. And again, the car was a Massachusetts car, so it had rusted for you know, like six years, I'd say at least. And this thing just passed right up.